Okay. Greetings, old dude. Is something the matter? Uh, let's see. What do I need to... Survive outside. What's got you worried? I've noticed the longer I stay out, the less maximum health and stamina I have. Pay attention to what your body tells you. As you push yourself, your maximum reserves of health and stamina will be diminished, blah, blah, blah. Sleeping in a tent or a bed will restore your reserves. Okay. Uh, let's see. Nope. The rest of this is basic tutorial stuff. I'd like to talk. Uh, what are you up to, Warden? Waiting on the scouts to come back from reconnaissance. Up-to-date information on what's happening in the surrounding region is essential to keeping Sierzo safe. My warriors and I are, on a la are the last line of defense for Sierra Zoo. We decide what enters and what's driven from our walls. We bear the heaviest responsibility in this tribe. I'd like to talk. What can you tell me about the Sharonese Sharon region? There's several packs of hyenas to the north that are bustling into our hunting grounds. There's some nasty troglodytes in the area too. I suspect they're jockeying for territory and prey. Stay far away from the northeast in particular. I've heard rumors of a scourge beast, a shell horror specifically, near the ghost pass. It's probably just a rumor. But better safe than sorry, I say. Don't forget about uh, that two other tribes are in open hostility to us right now. Be wary of the Montcalm tribe to the north and Kazite pirates to the near the coast. Then there's the matter of several bandit crews deciding to join forces in the Vendevel fortress along the north southern coast. Stay well away from it. They will enslave you if they capture you. Right, that's a thing. Right, gotta talk to him again. I'm going outside. Let's see. Well, you've got the essentials at least. Here, I'll teach you a skill. Mastering these is key to survival out in the wild. Want me to teach you one for the weapon you're currently holding? Yes. There you go. Mastering skills like this one are key to survival out in the wild. You should look for trainers whenever you visit New Town. They usually group near training equipment. Others need to be sought out. Alright, I'll let you go outside the town's walls. Use the gate whenever you want to head out. Stay safe out there. Yeah, you'll find pole arms later, so they're similar. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping. I'm, I'm just going to mess around. I'm probably going to have a miserable time for a while. Uh, getting my equipment up and all my associated skills. What I want to do is pick up as many... Uh, let's see. Do we have a map available? Active skills? No. Okay, I see. So we can just sort through that. Okay, so she said left and then a left. I'm not sure if I want to go for the troglodytes immediately. Also sucks. It's kind of dark. That might actually straight up be too dark. Oh, right. I have to set up my skills. That is fair. Uh, let's see. So we don't want fireworks. Fire reload. Moon swipe. Halberd staff. Double attack that deals high damage and increases in power. If you have rage and stamina boons. Okay. We've got push kick. Or, nope. I want item. I'm probably going to grab the bandages. Even though I only have one left. Heck are you? Oh, it's a bird. Ow. Come back, you weird horror. I'm sorry? This kind of sucks. Okay, there we go. So we've killed a random pearl bird. It hurt. But it does get me some raw meat. Which is good. Okay, so what are my pain? Physical resistance down. But my stamina recovery is up. Gather tree. Gather more gab berries. Let's see. And honestly, can I turn up the gamma at all? 
I'm assuming no. Because, yeah, the problem is I'm going to be wandering around in the dark. Wait, brightness. Aha! There we go. Okay, now it is vaguely dark-ish. But still visible at nighttime. We'll have to remember to turn this up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to remember to turn this off. But still, but this will make it a lot easier for me to explore at nighttime. And then eventually, once we have like a better setup, I'll well. Mainly once we don't have a stupid time limit. That's when I'm going to start... Uh, using, like, lanterns and whatnot. But also, like, I don't know. It was going to be ridiculously dark, kind of, no matter what I did. So I figured this is the easy way of doing things. So we do want to find where the beachhead was. That I, that I shipwrecked, maybe. So I'm actually heading to the north. Do I want to go to the north? Do I want to go to the south? What's the red debuff? Peck. I got pet. Hurt. What is this? Uh, well, that's the bandit camp there. I'm gonna give that a bit of a pass. I'm assuming I go for that, I'm in trouble. Now, it actually does look like I'm bleeding or, or something. Well... We might as well bandage up. Get rid of that... Whatever that debuff is. Heal slowly. Is this the troglodyte day, Dan? Certainly looks like it. Blister Burrow. I'm gonna fight one of them and then probably run away. Okay, Open Adventurer's Corpse has a claymore and some food. Uh, let's see. So I want to go over here. Item. This is, is this not? Okay. Well, we do also have the Iron Claymore. It does a fair bit more damage, a lot slower, though. But I think I might use the Claymore for the time being. Okay, so that's a Troglodyte. They're here. They're. They can't see well. Oh, but I think this is the mushroom I'm looking for. No. It's just a giant freaking mushroom. Okay, Junk Pile has quite a lot of stuff in it. I'm gonna grab that. We might have to get rid of some things, but I think I'm just gonna loot bandit and more or less grab what I can. Because I can fight, like, one thing. Okay, it most definitely sees me. Okay. Well, they're about as much of a coward as I am. So we can get some thick oil from this thing, and a troglodyte trident. Question is, 
Troglodyte Trident. Damage is decent. Not really. I don't really know. Oh, Vibrant Red Markings. Gotcha. Yeah, there's Star Mushroom. I'm just going to grab everything I can. We might have to make several trips here. Because my goal to some degree is just nab. Tiny Aquamarine is required. Nab as much stuff as I immediately can. And not get too messed up in the process. Because I don't necessarily want to die. It's kind of stinky looking. Okay. Well, I see a troglodyte down here. Damn it. Okay. Running. I don't have any bandages either. Okay. I kind of am getting it. I might still die. Okay. Stamina is good. HP is less. Okay, there we go. We're good. Uh, let's see. We get a blood mushroom. Still not the one I'm looking for, though. And a common mushroom. Problem is, I don't have any immediate healing, do I? Or is burnt health. Forming properties. Poison rags. I don't think I'm actually losing HP here. Okay, so for starters, I think I might want to rethink my weapon situation. Let's try this. Playmore is good. We'll do quarter staff maybe. Now let's hope we don't run into anybody else, because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. I can always go home, but I want to see if I can get a full backpack before I go. We can probably grab those troglodyte staves, but still. Is this it? Mushroom shield. Alright, so we're already, we're already done with that initial quest. Okay, I don't hear any more music. We might be safe for a little while. Okay. So, I'm kind of getting it. One, it does seem like for this game, it might be best to go, like, really hard sword and board. Uh, there's no way... No, there might be... Animation cancelling. I can't exactly tell. But I don't want to risk it as much. Okay. Is this the way I came in? I think so, yeah, because this is the pile of junk I passed. Uh, shit, never mind. We're going the other way. I was hoping it all lo looped like around on itself, but it doesn't seem like that might be the case. Okay, well, my bird's with me. Okay, this is the way I came in. I'm getting a little turned around. I got a little turned around during the uh, combat. So we're just going to grab the troglodent troglodents, and then we're probably going to hawk them. I can't imagine that they sell for much. I'm pretty sure that they sell for Bupkis. But you know what? Bupkis is better than 
well, nothing. Okay, so we've already we've already searched that. Gather the green mushrooms. Some of these things are probably more useful than others. This game lets you run satisfyingly fast. I'm sure it's much worse once you actually have... Oh, disassemble other weapons for parts and weight. That's a good point. But, uh... But yeah, if you if you need to bail, you can bail. Okay, so we want to do manual manual recipe. Let's disassemble... Oh, I can't get rid of the trog trogulodents. Honestly, I'm just going to go back with what I have. And we'll see what I can sell. Then probably go sleep to heal. Maybe get some more bandages, because they heal a bit. And then kind of rinse and repeat until we're done with the troglodyte cave. I don't know if things respawn. I kind of hope they don't. But as long as we don't get mobbed by, like, too many enemies at one time, I should be able to just kind of slowly clear that place out. Without a whole lot of problems. I don't see anything interesting up here. And then, yeah, we'll go looking for the coast. But no, this is this is actually pretty cool. I... It really does remind me of Morrowind. In Skyrim, you can pretty much immediately just start clearing caves and stuff. But Morrowind was definitely like... Just... I'm not going to say mental with like, the difficulty curve. But if you took a wrong way, you just end up in bad town. And, like, I don't know, there was something incredibly compelling about that. It, But it, it feels better... Oh, Elex! That was the game I was thinking of comparing this to. This still feels better to than, like, Elex, for example. Because my problem with Elex was... Uh, Elex in, like, the Gothic series is... You start as, like, utter crap Manistan. You can't fight even a single thing. Whereas, like, in this game, it's very clear that you are weak business and you're not going to have a good time. But you can at least do some things. Whereas Elex, you have to go do, like, pointless busy work for a lot of people. And that was never as fun. Anyway... Let's see. I have something for you. Unusual item. Nope, never mind. Apparently. I hear about work. I found the rare mushroom you wanted. Okay, 70 silver. Got the fungus. Bag is overweight. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you, old dude. You've more than earned your reward. Let's see. Leave you your work. Let's see. Nope. Nothing more. But I have 70 silver now, so that actually gives me a little bit of thing. Uh, th That actually gives me a little bit to work with. What is this? A pitch pitchfork? Yoink. Okay. Let's see, I want to buy something. So, we can sell off one of the pickaxes. And you know those troglodyte spears? They're worth some stuff. Um, I'm probably going to lose the felling great axe. I might even sell the claymore. Yeah, let's sell the claymore. I don't think it really fits. Let's see. So what else do we have that I can sell? I've got an amount of alchemical materials that I might be able to sell as well. Refuels lanterns, makes incendiary weapons. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's confirm that for now. Turn off my lantern. I just realized it's still been going this entire time. Okay. Uh, so I'm actually at 117 already. And we do have a recipe for crafting bullets. I don't think I want to lose that. Let's... Lux Lachette, special dish of the Sharonese, which restores a fair amount of health. I'm going to sell that. It's I, I want to get rid of that debt as soon as possible. The sooner that's gone, uh, the easier my life's going to be. Let's see. Don't tell me money has weight. I hate it when games do that. It has weight. I am sorry. So, I'm going to talk to this guy. We're probably going to be sword and board. I don't know what I'm going to do for magic, but it'll probably be later. Okay. So, what does this guy sell? Tees, armor, helms. Booking pots are worth a fair bit, but I don't want to use or lose that right now. So, what could we buy? 
I guess what's my current? I've got green worker attire, two impact resistance, three damage resistance. So what about these here? Padded helm does provide some extra resistances. It'd be nice if you could compare to what you currently have. So I could get a padded helm. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy like four bandages. It'll put me back a little bit, but it gives me a lot more adventuring time. Let's see. There's a way to keep it off without paying. Uh, yeah, no, I'm aware. I just have to do a favor for somebody. I just don't know which favor. Or, oh. Oh, tribal favor. I bet if we rescue people. That's the trick. Okay, so... Question. 16, 14... 16, 14. So I should, I should get rid of the, uh... I should sell the pitchfork in the morning. Uh, let's put away some of these things. I'm going to put put away some of the alchemical reagents. They will rot, though. Well, if they do start getting kind of rotty, then I'll just sell them. Okay, and we do have some meat that I can cook. So... Meat stew needs salt. Travel rations need salt. Okay. Uh We know we know who sells that. So I might actually want to grab like a small stack of salt and just hold on to it. Cuz yeah, if I can if I can have like a small stack of salt just sitting around next to the kitchen uh, that means I can make travel rations out of whatever meat I pick up along the way. I just gotta find the guy that sells salt. Probably you. Wanna buy something. So this man sells... No salt. What? Maybe it's the uh, fishmonger down, down the way. See, is there a way to preserve foods? I had salt, mainly. No salt either. Uh, maybe the alchemical lady. And if not, then we're just immediately going to bed. And then, oh, hello. We just have these here. Crafting recipes. Now, I could sell these, but I should probably learn them. So I can make makeshift leather equipment. That's one shiny-ass sword. Glad you survived the wreck, old dude. Sorry about your losses. I know how you're accounting on this expedition. The glowing sword is new. When'd you get it? Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. I was going to leave this morning and go join the holy mission of Alat before Mother could stop me. But with the shipwreck, it wouldn't be right to leave. I have to stay with the tribe until the morning period is over. Let's see. I have no idea. I don't know how I'm going to gather money. the money Rissa is demanding from me. I have faith in you, old dude. You'll pull through. If you can survive such a lethal shipwreck, I'm certain you can make your next blood price payment. Go now. We both have work to do, for Ciozo's sake. So we also have Loud Hammer here. Okay, so this guy sells the really cool weapons. I should have probably looked at some of these. They've all got really slow attack speeds, though. But he does sell some of the, like, really rad equipment and whatnot. Okay, stuff to look at for later. Okay, do you have freaking salt? Does anybody in this town have salt? Yes. It's pricey. It's worth it. Okay, and that'll that, that'll have to do for now. So next up, let's head for the... Well, I'm going to rest. 
I'm probably going to rest piecemeal hour by hour. I want to see how fast it heals you. And it would be nice if you could actually do rest until healed. Because that would actually make my life a lot easier. Okay, so we want to go here. Meat stew, or I'm probably going to do travel rations. Because they don't, they don't rot. At least I don't think they rot. Eh, they rot very slowly. What about the jam? The jam doesn't rot very quick either. Seaweed never rots. Good to know. And the cat berries rot, but they're plentiful enough. Does anybody know if, uh... Does anybody know if berries and stuff re... like, regrow? I hope they do. Okay, so let's rest for an hour. Let's see how much HP I get back. Okay, so resting for about two hours gets me about all the HP I need. And yes, I did drop some frames there. I'm sorry about that. Okay, berries do regrow. Good. Okay, that's enough health lost that, or health remaining that I'm relatively confident. Let's drop off what I can. So drop off the seaweed. I'm going to drop off the money because we don't need to be carrying that much with me. The salt, the fat. I don't know how much I can put in the stash, but I'm assuming it's a decent chunk. And I'm not going to need the campfire kit, nor the machete. I'm going to save the machete. Okay, so let's head for the beaches. They said the beaches were to the south. Travel rations are used as a currency to travel to another region. Oh, interesting. Okay, I figured they'd also just be a reasonable type of food. As well. Let's sell the pitchfork while we're here. We're good. How much did napping? So it looks like every nap gets you a decent chunk of sleeping too. So, yeah. We're gonna just be micro-napping left and right. This character will just kind of deal with it. See, there's a storage cave in town. Okay. I mean, I've just been using the stash, honestly. I don't know. The stash seems reasonable enough. I should probably... Actually, speaking of food and needs and stuff... Uh, I do need to eat a quick granola bar soon. Because I've, I've been going for eight hours. I I ate out today. Because I'm, I'm totally out of food here. I've got like four pieces of bread. And... Nothing else. Uh, the game... Crash? I'm just gonna let it go for a bit. But the game might have crashed, or at least hung. But yeah, I, I went out to eat at a, like, an American kind of pizza buffet. But it was mostly, like, you know, just fried chicken and stuff today. It wasn't very good. I was kind of disappointed. The reviews were good, but I guess it's, it's just the service, not the food. Okay, Storage Cave also has a bit of loot. Okay. I'll have to look at it, uh, look for it then. Especially if the game just froze, because it might kick us back a little bit. 